Portal Era, Part 4. Hello, everybody. Anakin Wiscomos here, also known as Catching Creations. Today we're back in the Pool 2 Workshop, where we're continuing with Portal Era, the very interesting map series by La Petite Magician. Clear my throat. Anyways, and the main lift door model, which is clipped into the floor slightly to make it shorter. It's a beeping happening behind... No, it stopped. There was a beeping happening. It was rather ominous. The floor here is dirty. Work on this is the wood texture floor. Like hold on, let me just You can hear full of those sound effects. That's the wood footstep noise. Pro 2 doesn't have any very many footstep noises. So appreciate the ones that it does. Okay. Got rid of all the nice individual, individual footstep noises the Half-Life 2 had. Interesting. Okay, can I go under the stairs here? There's a trophy down there. Hello. I want that. Oop. Hello. Trophy number one. Nice. Alright then. So where do we go to progress? Because that... We couldn't... Unless that glass actually opened. Hmm. Oh, it opens. Okay. That did not look like a thing about it open, but okay. A bit arbitrary. It's round tunnel. Announcer? Oh boy. Oh, this place, right. Oh, this is the big one. Right, this one's really interesting. Is it interesting? It's part three? I don't remember. We'll, we'll, we'll find out together. Big sort of volcano just out on the front counter. Potato and lemon batteries also on the front counter. So I got a big exit right here, and that's more outside. It's very outside. That feels less walled in than any in the lot part three. It's also water. I don't remember if the water's toxic though. So right. You probably need to go upwards to progress. So come here, these stairs are partially Hello trophy. I'll come for you later when I get out there. These stairs are partially buried in the floor. Just so you can fit smaller distances. Backwards fax machines. Copy machines. Do a little fling a room. There we go. And there's a disc. Where do you go? Did I see a player somewhere? Was there a player in the main desk? There's a player somewhere that you go into. Sorry, it's like my throat that time. Where is the player that you go into? There's probably a player that arbitrarily opens that door. You know, it doesn't really make any sense. Maybe, well, maybe it's out there in the control room. You need to get up there, probably. What else is that? Why is that one line so bright? Something going on over there? So... Is there a portable service in there I missed? I see the player in there. So that's where we need this disc to go. But how precisely do we get in there? Can I throw the disc in there so I have one less thing I have to worry about by myself? <laughs> Wait, though, it's sealing. This thing is important. Okay. Overcomplicating things again. Alright, do you arbitrarily open the front door? Yeah, you do. And you turn on the blueprint screen again. Alright. Cool though, now we, can, now we can go outside and I can grab that trophy I saw. I 
weekend there's no music, so I'll be adding in some nice subtle music. Is this... Yellow trophy. Where's your trigger? Is there not a trigger for this one? Okay, let's quick save. See, is this... Yeah, okay, it's deadly if you go deep in enough. So don't go too deep in the water, because that's where it gets deadly. It's lovely brown water, so right. So there is a fan shut down. Is that custom texture, or is that just a rarely used... I think it's just a rarely used uh, vanilla texture. It's used in co-op, I think. Or the co-op ETS stages. Trophy, hello. Trophy number three. I get a trigger for that first trophy, doesn't get enabled until some other point. So it is, I might also remember this right here. So there's, I think there's a memorable solution here. But it doesn't mean I actually remember what it is. So I, get, I think we go here first, though, to get a cube. A little cube. And also here is laser. That still goes to the control room. Uh, I'll just walk back. Okay, I, I, I was considering. Well, oh, not there too. Did I just wave dash down the stairs there. Oh, so there's a trophy over here. No, but there could have been. I just wave dash down the stairs for some reason. No, there's a button over here. I guess it's another cube. Am I gonna have to use that one trick in this map? So right, orange portal is holding the laser right now. So I think I need one of these in here. And yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna walk through that this, this fizzler. It's gonna get rid of my portal. So. Opens this door into G frames. They okay, set this up just like that. It'll open the door, but I won't have access. Also, I need to get. I need to go get the laser again. I suppose. It's all pretty pretty, by the way. I like. I like this environment design. Even it's like wacky and nonsensical for pool too. I like it. It's memorable. Also. I think, I think that right there is where the exit to the map is, through that corridor, at least a corridor like that, it might be somewhere else. The exit to the map is in a, is in a haunt, hallway like that with glass windows. <laughs> so right, so that is not hitting, are you serious? Be back again. Okay, I'm back and I heard it hit the node. Oh, I turned off the fizzler. Alright, that works out for me then. So I'll go over here. Now we're inside. Is there a trophy inside this box? No. There's not. Okay. Is there? Yeah. See a portal upwards. Oh, oh, that's... Oh. That catwalk is broken. It cannot be walked up. It's too steep. I need to use my portal gun. Because it conveniently works. Right. Nothing can get up there. Oh, I see. This is different also. Okay, alright then. Oh, this is familiar. This is, like in, this is a room from part 2. We are used in part 4. Say, so, hold on one second. Sorry, I had to toggle something there. I've got to turn off. Okay, right. See, this room is just about the same. 
nice view. It's like a nice post-apocalyptic view. You just get, you get set. Get, it's not a chair. You get set down a chair. It's gaze out at the destruction for a while. It's kind of serene in a post-apocalyptic way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyways, we use this module. So it's not going to be end of the map this time. We're actually going somewhere with this. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. No, it's you've mirrored the module. So we can get to the other side of the map here. And that's opportunity for death right here. Okay. Hold on. Sorry, I had to no, sorry, I had to hack up my lungs right there. This skybox. It's like not. It's custom. This skybox is entirely custom. It's definitely not Portal 2 one because Portal 2 only has solid colored skyboxes. I wonder where the skybox is from. It's like it's a rather nice mountain vista. Which I don't think I don't think Michigan looks like this, but hey, it looks nice to look at. It looks nice to look at. Good wording, me. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, what the heck? Okay, good. I'm saved here. I didn't mean to do that. That was a weird effect, though. I went under. Hup. Oh, oh. I thought I fell in again. I get out of here. You don't get time out. You just get death. Okay. You're gonna be wa you're gonna be the watch out for me. Hello. Is that you fall asleep again? Get boot underneath you. Can I make you fall up? Can I make you fall over? Business. I'll just grab you. Right into the gear you go. This is like a whole map break and roll for no real reason. I sure at a point. It's a nice spring supported block right here. It's like a giant spring pad. So like it's going to bounce right back into the sky. Alright then. I, I, I figure some people might actually like. It just, it just only ambience in this map. I like a little bit of music though. A little bit of music for it's preferable. That's why I'm editing it in. What is the structure must There might be a trophy over there. I get the feeling. I get the memory feeling. It's a large field to be able to walk into. Isn't this cozy? Imagine the activities you could, you could do here. If you enter this post apocalyptic world in a non post apocalyptic scenario, it's like you just travel here in a TARDIS. Hello. We're using this booth model, brush, using this room, using this, reusing this room asset. But it's located elsewhere now. I can go in there and press that button. It is bonus now. Is there a trophy in here I can get? Trophy number four. Oh, there is. That was a massive tr trigger for it. And the radio. Why was the trigger so massive, though? That's weird. You know, this, this whole vestibule is reviews just for a trophy. That's cool. Take the radio for a bit. We're probably gonna run to a fizzler up here, but hey. This is having a good time. Yeah, it's not what I was trying to pick it up, but okay. There's a shortcut here we can turn on. Is there a trophy? Is a trophy right over here? I don't know why I'm singing to this. I don't know why I even bother doing this. I'm tired of 
Chamber itself it sounds terrible. Oh hey. There's a chamber entry module. You can see in the petty chamber. That's interesting. I should not be trying to sing while I'm mentally drained. Anyways, I think this is I think this is a chamber that gets you trouble. This is gonna turn on. This one's gonna turn on. Is it the fizzler? Is it the funnel or the bridge? Place your bets now. It's the funnel. Okay. I feel like this is a chamber that can give you some trouble. I get the feeling. So where are we going with this? We're going to cross, but we might die. That's weird. No, that's because yeah, there's an extra 16 units there. I'm right above the funnel right now, so it's extra noisy. So that's the exit right there we're going for. That opens the exit. Probably the panel right there. There's something up there as well. Ah. Clever multi use. Hello. That's a lot of turrets. Okay, this one's over there. What do you do? Oh, you turn off that fizz momentarily. Why did you not use an actual signage for that? Why did you use the target texture? That's weird. It's so tiny and scaled down. Okay, I think I see what that's for, though. Oh, the wire does not get fizzled to cube. That's weird. So we gotta do what we did to ourselves, but with the cube. Shoot. I was I, I, I stopped paying attention to where it was. So actually pay attention this time. on and uh no oh. um this is the exit but uh that's not portable is there a thing in here I need to do that There's two of them. Huh. I can't believe that worked, but okay. Ow. I can't believe that actually worked. Okay. So why have we why have we come back here? I guess, I guess it's to have portable surfaces again. That's the main reason why we came back here. Alright, okay. So now we have portable surfaces access accessible to us. So what if I don't do that with the cube? What if I just like... There, okay. So now I have cube with me. So, so that's not portable. So how... How do I make it portable? How do I flip this? That was probably might be from that actually. I don't even pay attention. There's just a thing right there. Okay, let's give that a go. So, okay, just getting disoriented. Whoa, getting disoriented. So if I place this here. So we can funnel ourselves from that ledge right there. It's a little weird, but okay. Oh, so we can get up there. Yeah, okay, I see. Wait a minute. Wait. 
Oh, it's floating. You didn't make it long enough. Rip. Oh well. Hey, beam, beam me up, Scotty. Let's see what's up here. Got a nice ride at the countryside. Nice ride around town. See that? There we go. Now it's portable. Maybe now we can solve the puzzle. Down through here, I need to move the cube. I'm gonna take it back over here. Got that one ba background noise I just played. I don't know if you can even hear it. It's like groaning metallic creaking in the distance. Like the Boreal was creaking. You can always hear it on like an outlast. That sound effect just stuck in my mind. Okay. Let's just do that again now. Can I throw you over there? <laughs> nice. So now we do that again. Now we do the first thing again. But now we actually have the methods to do it all the way through. Okay, for a second I thought I didn't make it. There we go. We get a sweet freedom sauce. So I so what what can we not access from here? I was, I was looking at this area from way over there. I was standing over there, I was looking over here. No, here, actually here. That's neat. World, con world connectivity. So what is our reward for making it this far? We get a shortcut. Nice. Get a shortcut. Now we're up higher. Oh boy. Okay, I think it starts getting real here. I think this puzzle... The trickier ones in here. So, where is the end goal here? Gotta power that node. The thing is, the wall is just inconveniently broken right there. Oh, so inconveniently. So, you have to figure out a way to hit that. It's gonna kind of probably gonna take some finagling to get that in there. Can I get you up here? Stop flailing about. Alright, that doesn't auto stand. So what if I... Okay. Well, I, well, I went over quickly. I just think you of know, the laser looping thing we did last time, part 3. Okay. That was a glass door right there, I didn't even notice. Is that the end? Oh, I think we're, I think we're at the end now. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I think we're at the end. That was pretty neat, all things considered. I can push that pool surface again from over here. Oh, um... Okay, don't... Don't, don't jump randomly while you're looking away. It's a bad thing. You should wait. I jump down there though. I think that's the end right there. What if I just jump down here? Secrets. It's a portable surface. No. Trophy. Trophy! Hey! Trophy number five. Nice. I get, re I get rewarded for my curiosity. Alright then. The yeah, last portal I shot was the orange, so I guess I'll shoot the blue. It's gonna, it's gonna take me a little bit back here, yeah. yeah no problem, though. No. Alright then. It's cut back to being over there. Yeah, Alright, don't look away as you jump this time. Yeah, cool, that was pretty good. I like that whole thing is considered. I like that. It's pretty neato. Thanks for playing. You're welcome. Thanks for making. Alright, I'll cut it off right there then. Next time, we'll play the finale of Portal Era. So until then, my name is Agnes Goss, host on Sketching Creations, and I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.